Hope you're doing well. Hope you're seated. If not, take a moment now. Get your blanket on your lap if you'd like. Something underneath your feet. I have a block. You can use a book or a tissue box. Anything that will connect your feet to the ground. All right, we don't want our legs just dangling. It's not good. So let's get comfortable. Let's take a nice inhale and exhale. Another nice inhale. And on the exhale, let's close the eyes. Inhaling and exhaling. Clearing the mind. Let's take an inventory of the body. We start at the top of the head. Letting the stress melt away. Shoulders are back and down and relaxed. Inhaling and exhaling. Eyebrows are relaxed. Not holding any tension in the face. Jaws relax. No tension in the shoulders, right? Lift them up, up to your ears. And let them go. Let them relax. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders relaxed, arms are nice and loose, hands are on our lap, palms up or palms down, open and close the hands, let them relax on the lap. Stomach muscles relax. Thighs not holding any tension. Knees. Shin. Calves. Ankles and feet. Take a nice complete inhale. Exhale. Releasing any tension or stress you might be holding. Bring hands to heart center, palms and fingers touching. Thumbs pressed against the breastbone just slightly so there's an engagement. Beginning practice. We'll start with an anchor statement. Statement can be a goal that you might have, something you'd like to incorporate in your life. Keep it small and simple. Take a nice inhale, exhale. 
exhale, bring the chin to the chest, leaving the chin to the chest and releasing the hands onto the lap. Just staying here for a moment. Inhale the head up to center, slowly opening the eyes. Inhale, shoulders way up, way up, way up, and then just let them go back and down, starting to get into our nice yogic posture. All right, we're not going to be slumping over, starting to sit tall in our seat, right? Our bottom is connected. Get comfortable again, move around a little bit. Bring those shoulders back and down and pulling in on the abdomen. Just sitting here, that nice yogic posture, right? Crown of my head is reaching skyward and my chin is parallel with the earth, right? It's not jetting out. Just pull it back. Sitting tall. Nice and tall. You can feel that spine elongated. Right? Sitting tall allows all the our organs to move freely and properly, right? If we start to hunch over they get squashed right so we want to pull back sit tall shoulders back and down inhaling and exhaling one more time a nice inhale really filling the lungs completely and fully inhale and exhale Back to the normal breath. And as we do our next complete inhale and exhale, I'd like you to visualize the side of the body winging out, filling completely and fully. And as we exhale, all the air comes from the bottom of the body, right? Really from the bottom and all the way up, visualizing with that mind's eye that it's coming all the way up. You're, and the lungs are coming inward, right? They're really emptying, getting their exercise, and the breath leaving. So hands are back on our lap, shoulders back and down, nice and tall, right? This is the best way to do it. So take a nice, complete inhale, winging out the sides, exhale, Back to the breath. All right, as you inhale, everything fills. And exhale. Great. Come back to the normal breath. Regaining that nice tall posture. Inhale. Exhale, lower the right ear to the right shoulder. We're just going to hold here for a moment. Inhale, head up to center. And exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, head up to center. Right ear and right shoulder. Inhale, head up to center, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, head up to center and hold here for a moment. Taking your hands, warming the hands, <clears throat> right? Getting that prana moving, warming the hands, getting the healing energy in our hands. And then take your hands and just massage the ear right the ear lobe and going up the ear right my right ear i can't really get to but just really work it trying to move any tightness that you might have all the way up and all the way down 
maybe on the inside too, getting in there a little bit. Just, you know, not the inside, inside, but just right here. Feel the cartilage. And then releasing the hands back to the lap. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, head up to center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, head up to center. And just sit for a moment, roll the shoulders. Right? Loosening all that fascia, even in the earlobes. All it's connected through the neck and the shoulders. Maybe some up and down motion, wherever you are, whatever you need today. And start getting into those shoulders, right? A little bit more, really moving, <clears throat> making big shoulder circles. Backwards and forwards. And then get the arms involved. See, I'm starting to make big circles with these arms, getting them involved. Come back to center. We're moving the block under your feet, just moving it over to the side. And remove this blanket. I'll use it later at the end of class. Coming up to the end of the chair a little bit, making sure you're comfortable and safe. I'm going to take the arms. My thumbs are facing forward, and I have a nice, comfortable posture, pulling it on my abdomen, right? Exercising those muscles. Right? It also opens up my lower back. Shoulders are back and down, right? Nice mountain pose. My thumbs are facing forward though. We're gonna inhale and big sweeps as we exhale. All right, inhale and exhale, another sweep. One more time, inhale and exhale as we sweep back down. Interlacing the hands. Right, we're just going to move the hands up and around, the arms and the shoulders, the elbows, right, getting into all the upper body, right, hands are interlaced, making a kind of sweeping, kind of wavy motion, just getting some movement. Back to stillness, hands are on lap, and just make any movement that you need. Maybe roll the shoulders, bring the arms to a beautiful goddess pose, right? Or goal post arms, right? Just holding for a moment, bringing them back a little bit so you get the engagement of that upper back. And pull it on the abdomen. And then bring them forward, relax, right? Bring them back for an engagement. And bring them forward. Release a little bit, relax, back, and then forward. Coming to neutral here. Inhale the arms up. Tall out of the spine. Tall. Really, really tall. Feet are connected. Inhaling. Exhale, sweep the arms down. Oh, great. Shake out those hands, right? Great. Taking up our foot, open and close the toes. Open the toes. Curl them in. Open and curl in. My hands want to do the same thing, right? <laughs> Open and close, and then point and flex. And my knee is bent, it's fine. Pulling on the abdomen, so you're getting a nice little ab workout too. And then turn the foot, right, getting into the ankle, all around. Come back to center, we're gonna do the same on the other foot, open and close. Open and close. And then point and flex. 
And then just do some nice circles. Come back to neutral, back to center. I'm going to take the right leg over left. Sweep up the arms. Mm, just get tall like this. I have my foot flexed. Nice tall. Pulling on the abdomen, right? It just feels really nice getting a nice long stretch. Mm, a few breaths. And as you exhale, just start leaning forward, pulling on the abdomen, right? Oh, and surrounding that back. So you get a nice round and opening up. Oh, that spine. All right. And we're not going to stop. We're just going to lean over for a moment. Relax the hands and roll up. That's all. Rolling back the shoulders. Really nice. And let's do that on the other side. Left over right. Foot is flexed. Toll in the C. Nice connection. And I had the muscles are engaged. My leg muscles are engaged. It's not a passive seat. It's sitting tall. Foot is flexed. My legs are engaged. I have a nice strong abdomen. <clears throat> Inhale the arms up. Wide hands, my hands are really wide, getting into the muscles of the hands, right in the fingers. Hmm. Just holding for a moment. Inhale, exhale, we're just going to lean forward, curling, curling, curling our backs, just to, oh, get into that spine. Holding for a moment, release the hands, just curl right back up. Coming back to a nice seated position, uncrossing the legs, crossing right over left. All right, really nice. Sweep up the arms. Beautiful inhale. Exhale, hands come together and they just come straight down the midline. So as we're sitting here, nice and tall, right? Take a nice inhale. Exhale. Inhale, start twisting to the right. And we have a nice left elbow, which should be straight in front of us. You can lean forward and try to hook that elbow on to the right leg, right? And then you look over to the right for a little twist. All right now, if that's not accessible to you today, you can just merely twist to the right. right? Really nice twist, getting into the spine, getting into all the internal organs. But if you are down here, just taking a look over to the right, not letting, try not to let the head droop, bringing it to a nice, maybe parallel would be the word I would use with the floor. And inhaling and exhaling. Take a nice inhale, exhale, inhale the arms up overhead, ooh, just take a little baby twist to the left, and sweep the arms down, all right, just coming back to seated, all right, waking up that back, woo, all right, back and forth, a little left to the right. Let's take off the right leg. We'll put left over right. Hands are down in front of us, right? Nice wide hands. Inhale the arms up. Tall, coming out of my side body. Hoof. Tall, tall. Hands are wide open. All right, getting ready for spring. I feel like a big, tall flower looking for the sun. All right. Inhale and exhale, palms come together and they come straight down the midline. It's the same thing on this side. 
All right, if you want to just sweep over to the right a little, uh, to the left rather, just looking out over to the left in a nice twist. Make sure you're sitting tall, right? These tall, tall, pulling in on the abdomen, right? I lost that movement just now, the action. Then if you want, you can try to hook this right elbow over to the left thigh. And I'm just going to look over to the left, right? If you don't like your hands here at heart, heart center, sometimes the shoulder is a problem, you can put your hand on the waist. Wherever you really are, wherever you want to have your hands, that's comfortable. It's the twist, right? It's the twist of the spine. It's important. Hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale the arms up overhead. Oh. Woo! And then just twist to the right a little bit. Hmm. Nice and tall. And then just come back to center and sweep the arms. Wow, we. Feels really nice getting into that spine. Bring both feet. It should be on the ground at this point. We're going to do a nice seated cat cow. Putting hands on the legs. Inhale. And exhale, curl in. Leaning over, right? Getting a nice spine, rounding of that spine. Pull in. Use the ab muscles to pull in on the stomach. Inhale, we open up, bring back those shoulders, pushing forward that collarbone, the breastbone, maybe looking up, being mindful of any neck issues. And then as you inhale, exhale, curl back in. Fully, completely empty those lungs. You can feel it as you're curling in the emptying. Inhale, open up. And the motion is in the breastbone, collarbone area. It's not the dropping of the head back. Maybe push that throat forward, right? Pushing out that thyroid. And then just curl back to seated position. Right? Really nice. Just working in those shoulders. Maybe move the neck and the head. Oh, there we go. Great. Come back to center. And we're just going to come to a standing position. As we stand, sweep the arms way tall, looking up. Just looking up a little bit. Holding here for a moment. Breathing in and out. Mmm. Sweep the arms and exhale them down. Oh, feeling really nice. I'm just going to move the chair right here to the top of my mat. And move my equipment. Coming back. All right, just take a nice stance. Let's get into a nice mountain pose. Raising our toes, opening them up. All right. And holding them up, feeling that arch in the foot get a workout. Toes are nice and open. And put them back on the ground. Nice little pelvic tilt. Arms are forward. Palms nice and wide. Shoulders are back and down. Soft bend in the knees. Just holding. Taking inventory from the bottom all the way to the top. Inhale the arms up, sweep them tall. When they get to the top, just start reaching, reaching, reaching. And then let's start leaning over to the right. So you're going to get a nice opening on that right side body. And while we're here, just taking our right hand, grabbing that left wrist and just 
trying to stretch that arm long and tall. Push down on that left foot. As you push down, you should get even more of an opening on that left side. Taking a look up at the sky. And then take a look down. And then look up. Look down. Releasing hands, coming back to center. Still tall and long. Just sweep the arms down and around. Come up to heart center for a moment. Taking a breath. Sweep the arms up again, tall and long, reaching, 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 and leaning to the left. Taking the left hand to clasp the right wrist, pulling the arm up and out of the side body, long and tall, really trying to lean over maybe a little bit. Now push down that right foot into the ground, looking up at the sky. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale, looking down at the ground, making sure you feel safe. Back up at the sky and down. And then back up to center. Sweep everything back and around. Ooh. Do whatever movement you need at this time. Let's separate the feet, hip width distance, taking the hands and just sweeping them around, getting into the spine, getting ready for springtime, trying to keep supple, have a full range of motion. If we've shoveled snow, been reading a lot, get stiff. The cold makes us stiff, right? How to stand tall and Sweeping the arms around, whatever you need. If you want them high, woo, whatever you need, just work with what you are, where you are, I should say today, right? Wherever you are, whatever you need. Oh, it feels really good. All right, let's come to face our chair, our friend, Mr. Chair. Right, really helpful with our yoga practice. So just get comfortable and I'm rolling around on my feet, right? Let's all roll around on the feet. Right, it's really nice to just feel them on the mat, feel them connected to the earth, knowing that we're being grounded. And you can feel, right, as you roll on each side, just gently if you have any foot issues, be mindful. But as you feel like you roll up the front of your foot, you can feel the ball mound and the pinky mound and the heel. Right? They just come to a nice, comfortable place. We realign ourselves with mountain pose. Sweep the arms up. Inhale. Tall. Oh, exhale. Inhale. And as we exhale, we're just going to sweep the arms around as we lean forward for the first kind of forward fold of the day. Right now, wherever you are, just forward folding. I have my hands right here <clears throat> on the chair. I'm going to move forward a little bit so my forearms are on the chair. All right, really nice. I'm just sort of pushing out my backside, right? Pushing out, trying to elongate that spine. And I'm going to take my hands, and I'm just going to fist over fist on my hands. It goes my forehead or wherever you want, wherever you can reach. If you need your block, feel free to do that. But my hands are on the chair, and my forehead is on my hands. And I'm pushing out that spine, bending into my knees. Mm -mm -mm. Just trying to loosen up that back. And now move the hips left to right. Back and forth. All right, back and forth. Coming to stillness. 
want you to bend it to that right knee and straighten out that left leg. Okay, getting into that hamstring. And just holding. Okay, straighten out the right. And bend into that left knee. Holding here. There you can feel it in the back of that right leg. And then just do the other side again. Straighten out that right leg and bend into that right knee. Straighten out the right and bend into the left knee. Holding. Coming back to center. The soft bend in both knees. I'm going to start walking backwards, right? We're walking back on our mat to get a nice long, long downward dog right so now we're here my feet are hip width distance i can see my feet pushing out on my spine making it long pushing my hips back long and tall my chest leans forward right falls forward or down towards the ground so my breastbone is heading downward my Side body is long. My armpits are opening wide and I'm really long in my arms. Right? Trying to get the longest I can on my side body. Mm -mm -mm. And if you're here and you're comfortable and you want to, you can come up on those toes. Getting into the toes, right? And holding it here and releasing it. Mm -mm -mm. One more time up on toes. And releasing, coming back to the ground. One last time, inhale. And exhale. Working our spine, we're going to be walking forward, but we're going to start rounding our back and pushing up, right? Rounding that back, walking forward, round, round that back, round that back. Say so round, 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 keeping it so we're getting into all the vertebrae, all right? Really nice. And then putting the hands, our hands on the chair, and just come up to a nice and easy, slow movement to stand. All right, everything should be moving around. Mm, nice to have that head, right? Lower than our heart. Gives the heart a different workout. Mm, mm, mm. Good for the immune system. Mm, really, really nice. Backing up again. So you feel safe. Hands at the sides, right at our sides. Inhale, sweeping up. Then exhale, folding forward. Coming down, hands on chair. I just woke up a little bit, so we're closer to the chair. Just let it all hang the best you can. Let the head hang. Then inhale, we're going to do just a little look up over to the chair. A little half lift, as they would say. Bend into the knees, a little half lift. Bring back those shoulders. Exhale, forward fold again. The best you can. My hands are right on the chair, so I feel safe. Inhale, another little half lift. We look up. Exhale, we're just going to forward fold it. You can put your hands on the chair if you'd like. Look up a little bit. 
make sure you're comfortable. Right. Here we are, my hands are on the chair, feeling safe. I'm in a a half fold right here. I am half fold. Trying to get a nice flat back. All right. Tipping my body weight over to the left. My left side body. So now the weight is in my left leg. I'm just gonna bring up this right leg a little bit. I don't want it any higher than my hip. Right there it is, my foot is flexed. Right. Trying to get a nice even line from the crown of my head straight through my body out the back of my right foot. And holding, and bend that left knee for a little bit. You're really building the strength of that left leg, working on the foot strength, balance. And then just bring the right foot to the ground. Right, and shake anything out that you need. Maybe your hand doesn't like it. And just get re, re comfortable or get comfortable again with the chair wherever you are. Putting the body weight into the right side body and inhaling that left leg back up. Now this my left side is very tight today. Ooh. So I'm trying to get a nice line of energy right through the top of my head. Energy is going right down my leg, throughout, building the strength of my right side body. Inhale and exhale, bring that left leg back to the ground. And now just go between right and left and moving out those hips, right? That's what I feel I need. Pushing out that left hip, that tight side. And do what you need to do. Coming up on the toes, right? If you need to do that also. Great. So we're in the same position. We're going to do that again. We're, we're going to add um, something onto it. Getting comfortable. My feet nice and connected. They're wide open. Mm. Tipping the body weight into my left side body. Inhale that right leg behind me straight up. Nice and straight. I bend into this left knee a little bit because that works for me. My foot is flexed and the toes are facing downward. Right, and if you can, we're going to bend into that left knee and slowly lower the right leg all the way behind us. Right? So we're in a nice long position. You have to move up a little bit maybe. And my foot comes down to a nice warrior one foot, slightly angled. And I come to a standing position. Hips are facing forward. Shoulders are facing forward. And this is good for now. Maybe this is all I need right now. Inhale the arms up. Right, a really traditional, beautiful warrior one. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping these same legs, we're going to inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to lean forward, pulling on the abdomen so we get that nice strength, right? Like we're trying to hand somebody a giant beach ball, and then we're going to sweep the arms back behind us. Arms are now airplane arms. Don't lose that front bend in the knee. Shoulder blades are pulled in in the back. Just holding for a moment, inhaling and exhaling. Hmm. Inhale, the arms up. My body comes up, but my legs, my front knee stays bent. Back to warrior one. Get the bend in that knee. Nice and tall, long in the arms. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Lean forward. Oh, here you go. I'm going to hand somebody a beach ball. Arms come back up behind me. Palms are facing inward. Shoulders are pinched together in the back. I'm just holding. 
Inhale, we're coming back up to stand. Tall and long, right? Great. Holding. Straighten out that front leg. Sweep the arms down. My hands come up to heart center. Hmm. Keeping the legs nice and long, right? They're really nice and long. We're just going to start leaning forward to the chair. My hips turn, but not open to the side. That would be a warrior two body or a triangle. A couple other things. Make sure they're straight forward towards the chair as we lean, bending, bending at the hip, right? Not the waist. At the hip, we bend forward to the chair, right? Parshvottanasana. Pull back on that left hip. As we just try to lean forward, bending and bending, getting into that side body. Hamstrings are wide awake. Wide awake. Woo! Pushing forward that right hip. Ooh, releasing a little bit on that. You can bring back this left foot a little bit. If you can move that left foot back a little bit. All right. My legs are still nice and wide. Just getting into the bending of that. Getting into that hamstring. So here we go. We have two options. We have two options. We can either just walk this let this right leg to meet the left, or you can bend into this left knee a little bit, push up, bring that leg back, right? Warrior three leg. And then just bring the right foot to meet left, wherever you are today. And then just work those hips a little bit and the legs. Still bending over. We're still in that nice position with the chair. Putting the body weight over to the right. We're going to bring up that left leg. Hmm. And then we're just going to bend into that right knee. And then lower that left leg. Once again, that nice long position, right? Long triangle legs. Bend into that front knee. Now fix that back foot so you feel comfortable. Coming to stand. Beautiful arms. Warrior arms. Overhead. Nice wide hands. Bend into that knee. So here we go. We have a friend in front of us. We're going to start bending over, handing them that beach ball. Finish handing the beach ball. The arms sweep up behind us. We bring in those shoulder blades, wide hands, bending that knee, creating strength. Collarbones facing forward. Inhale, come back to stand. Arms way over our heads, beautiful. Inhale, start hinging at the hips again, giving a beach ball. Arms sweep up behind us, right? Inhale the arms up again. We come nice, tall, long. Last time. Inhale. Exhale, leaning forward. Arms come up behind us. Pull back on the shoulder blades. Hmm. Straightening up that front leg. Putting the hands on our chair, 
right? Both legs are straight. We do Parjvottanasana on this side. Pull back on that right hip. <clears throat> and you got to probably scooch up a little bit. And then leaning forward, bending at the hips, right? Nice long back. Pull back on that right hip. Right? That left hip comes forward. So you start to feel the stretch in the back of that right leg. Mm. Just holding and breathing. Making sure you're having a nice, smooth, even breath. Wherever the breath goes, the mind and the body follow. Coming back to a half lift, All right? Bring that right foot back a little bit. Same thing on this side. You can bend into that right knee and bring it back, the left leg back behind you for that warrior three. And bring the left to meet the right foot or however you get here, coming back to forward folded over the chair. Right, it's coming back onto mat. Roll up. Shoulders are back and down. Nice mountain pose. Inhale and exhale. Coming to stand in the center of the mat. Nice wide, 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 wide legs, right? Just going to sweep up the arms. It's going to be a nice wide stance. Mm. And sweep the arms down. Bend into the knees, right? Bend, bend, bend. Sweep up the arms. Exhaling as we come down. Right? Using all the leg muscles. So we do this very simple movement, but good for strengthening all parts of the legs. We want to keep our legs strong and active. If it's too much of a movement, just do what you can do. And keep the legs straight. Just bring the arms back and down. <sighs> Heel toe the feet together. Bringing our chair back to a seated place, right, where we can set up our Shavasana. I once again take my blanket and my block for my feet. And I just get set up for the last few minutes of class. All right, really nice. Just sitting for a moment, allowing the class to settle in. All right. Yoga relaxes the mind, connects the body to the breath. Checking in with our poses allows us to take a break from the chatter, everything going on around outside of us. Maybe revisiting the anchor statement. And when you're ready and set up for Shavasana, putting hands on lap, whether you like palms up or palms down, wherever you are is fine. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, close the eyes. It's allowing the breath to normalize.
releasing thoughts, putting them on boats and pushing them out to sea. The thought comes to our minds, but we just push it away, not allowing it to overtake our relaxation, letting the ego go. We don't need the chatter of the ego. Starting at the top of our heads, allowing stress to break away, taking inventory from the top of our heads down, eyes are relaxed and closed, jaws released, not holding any tension in the neck, shoulders. Arms are loose. Stomach is relaxed. We're not clenching muscles in the legs or the knee. Shins and calves are relaxed. Feet are connected to the earth. So we're grounded, secure. Take a nice full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring hands to heart center. Exhale. And when you're ready, opening the eyes. Thank you, yogis, for allowing me to bring you yoga today. The light in me sees and honors the light in all of you. I hope that you go in ease. I hope that you have peace. Enjoy this beautiful weather. Namaste.